Hello there. Greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day. Light for your daily path. Our topic today is displacing mountains. And this is part two. And our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20 to 21. Friends, I'd like to remind you this today. There is nothing that will ever confront you that is bigger or more powerful than your God. Nothing is above or beyond our God. This is why we must live with a consciousness that God wants us to live with an understanding and a focus on who he is. The Lord does not want us to live in fear of anything. Neither does he want us to give up in the face of challenges. He does not want us to speak defeat or hopelessness in the face of battles. But he wants us to win and he expects us to win. The Lord wants to help us win every day. But he wants us to deliberately create a room for him to show up in our battles every day. And we do this through our demonstrations of our faith in the Lord. According to Matthew chapter 17, Jesus went to the Mount of Transfiguration with Peter, James, and John. When he returned, he was informed of a situation. A man had brought his son to Jesus' disciples to be prayed for. The devil was tormenting this child, but the disciples of Jesus did everything they could, but they failed to cast out the evil spirit in the young child. When Jesus arrived, he handled the situation effortlessly and the child was restored. Jesus was disappointed with his disciples for failing to address and handle the situation. He specifically rebuked them for their lack of faith. Jesus taught his disciples that their lack of faith prevented them from experiencing God's power. He said to them, if you have faith in God, you will experience the miracles of God. Friends, this response of Jesus was not only relevant to that situation. He was also teaching us as his disciples how to deal with difficult seasons and situations. Friends, there is nothing too difficult for our God to do and there are no impossibilities in his realm. You must believe it. You must act accordingly, understanding that you can command any mountain to be removed and it will be done. What is most important for us to walk in the supernatural is to have faith in God. Faith that he can do all things. Faith that he is with us. Faith that he wants to help us win. And above all, faith in his love towards us. I believe that this has been a blessing to you. Please come back to this again, meditate on this again and again, and you'll be empowered much more on displacing mountains. Please pay close attention to the wisdom push of the day, today's prayer, and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. And if these devotionals are a blessing to you, like I know they are, tell someone about it, extend this blessing to another life. And God will reward you for this. Have a great day, Father, in Jesus' precious name.